topic was to some extent trying to make this like trying to make trying to get here right like yeah. really was like and and worrying that it was a challenge that it was very, whatever gains we had at the moment were pretty fragile and, and and might not we might not get here i think the topic here was the the disconnected sort of siloed nature of various factions or people within the agile community yeah. um is actually getting in the way of helping out our customers which we're trying to do which prevent which is preventing us from getting over this chasm of understanding to, to, to get to what we really want to, which is mm. helping people and, and mm -hmm. improving the way we're working and improving mm -hmm. our outcomes. And mm -hmm. if you look here, this is all siloed communities or even just people siloing mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. kind of building things out of pieces that actually could be quite similar to each other, but building it in such a way that they're actually siloing themselves. They're not fo focusing outwards towards the customer enough, they're focusing too much more on what the existing sort of agile thought leaders have created or what they've created on their own. We're not helping this guy, right? And we're not helping this guy because he can't trust anybody here because everybody else is telling him something who, different. Who is that guy? He's the customer. The customer. Okay, great. Who's shocked? Who's this? And this guy over here is a poor a practitioner who's trying to build stuff and he's taking pieces of everywhere else and he hasn't created agile. He's created some weird hybrid. Well, and he's even got, thing. he's got the orange bits, right? He's yeah. Got, he's got the orange <laughs> bits, but somehow it just doesn't, you know. It doesn't quite work. It's not, it's not solid, right? And then somehow over here, what happens is what we said is by creating some transparency, and I don't think we talked about what that transparency would be, but I guess I think we all have ideas mm -hmm. of how to be more transparent. Mm -hmm. You can actually create connections between people, and this is the ultimate transparency center, which is going to create this common language, which is going to destroy the elephant in the room, or cast the light on the elephant cast in the, the room, right? Or shine a light back on the goal, maybe, or something. Yeah, it's trying to light. Think of it, right? Yes, yeah, shine a light back on the goal. Mm -hmm. And who wants to take over then about the bridge that basically we're trying to get over this bridge and this chasm, which can kind of lead mm. to bad consequences, which we said a lot of it is this waterfallish type stuff that's happening. And we want to use this kind of common community, common language to get over here and get to the prize, which is mm -hmm. the better outcome for our business and, and right. better opportunity, better value, better workplace, all that kind of good stuff. And so um, the bridge was was about you know crossing the chasm, the idea of crossing crossing the chasm from early adopters, mm -hmm. uh, and as Alistair mentioned, one, one of the uh, potential potentially the elephant in the room is can it even be done? Uh, and and so I guess the transparency is to shine some light on that to kind of come to a solution on whether it can be done, and then if mm -hmm. so, how do you do mm -hmm. it? Right? And connections, I see a lot of mm -hmm. connections happening over there, mm -hmm. or increased connections. Yeah, you know, these guys are separated, and these guys are all not facing each other. Um, these guys are all facing away from uh, the goal over here. And uh, what was this guy here again? Uh, the, the disconnect. <laughs> he was another one of the, the practices. Yeah, the disconnect. Right. So the fact that very few people kind of made it over to that. So does, side, does this right? feel like a little community? But that it, there are a little community, but they're still not working well together I'm in their community or something. Because that's what I see, when I see it. It's funny. I hadn't thought of that before. But. These guys look like they're working well in the community, but because right, they're working they're not... so well in the community, they're <laughs> rebuilding even more walls with everybody else. <laughs> Oh, it's sort of funny how that showed up, right? Because yeah, I, I like that's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of the nature of optimization. But even though they're close to each other, they don't have the same kind of communication lines that you see right. here. Right, yeah, there. right. Yeah. And they don't have the transparency. They're not really collaborating with anyone else. They're right. collaborating amongst themselves. They're not isolated like this guy is. Yeah. yeah, right. It kind of goes back to Jason's, <laughs> Jason's yeah. model of the you know blocked in where you know, right. nobody can even see in here the walls. Right, right, right. 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 Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. And are any of the. Do we, are any of the thought leaders not up on pedestals or something? Or could we, are there any? Well, I mean, it's just interesting to highlight the money, <laughs> the money aspect of it, right? There's a lot of money to be made. Yeah, there's a lot of money to be made as a thought leader. And I don't know if this is money going to the thought leaders or if people <laughs> trying to make money um, by worshipping the thought leaders. I think it's a little about here. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. I like to shine the light, too. That, that, that turned out well. Accidentally, right? <laughs> it's nice. No, but nice. It's almost like these guys are building this network of communicating with each other to shine a light on the invisible elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. By doing that, that'll help you get over this right. bridge. Which right. few people have successfully done. Yeah. And we need we need these brave guys that were used to be like Todd's guy with the helmet on, right? To, yeah. to go between. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those black guys need helmets, right? Yeah. One thing you might be missing from that angle, Michael, is is. Uh, you know, uh, the waterfall here, right? Which is, it's kind of like the common enemy. Um, and, and this notion that uh, nobody in the Agile community is actually oriented anymore in the common enemy. They're, they're kind of specializing on their own kind of perspective uh, of Agile. Right, I see very few 
published works out there that, that even just go back to basics around why we're doing agile or even why we're going more iterative or lowering whip mm -hmm. or whatever. It's all kind of why the different variants, what they have on top of each other or not, or, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like, why is Kanban better than Scrum as opposed to, you know, you're still doing waterfall, you don't care whether Kanban or Scrum is better, you're doing waterfall, right? Mm -hmm. Or even the craftsmanship kind of like a lot of the stuff says, oh, this is all about refocusing agile towards technical practices. And there's a lot of mind share on refocusing where we're going to go here when really there's this common thing that they're, right, right. they're all trying right. to address. And so to me, it's funny, like, to, to go back to like my early adopters kind of ideas that the refocusing on technical is very much going back to like XP's roots, right? Which was yeah. very much like the start of, like it was a very much a technical programmer kind of thing. Right, exactly. And, and, and you know, that's early days. So some people I think are almost retreating back to the kind of early adopter kind of stance. Right? Mm. Or, or not early adopter stance, but the same stance that was there. That, well, the stance of the early adopters for Agile. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> exactly. Most of technically oriented. Yeah, exactly. And then we brought it, you know, and then Scrum brought in the whole management thing and the Lean's brought in the kind of broader perspective things. And so it is